Hi. Welcome. Welcome to 39th Street Gourmet. People often ask me when I talk about wines, they talk, they ask, where did I learn about wines? What books did you get? What books can I get? How can I learn about wine? Well, I'll tell you a little bit about uh, my story. I know a little bit about wine because I've been in the restaurant business for several years. I studied books with Hugh Johnson and uh, various others. My start that I started off with when I started studying seriously was Kevin Zerali's Windows on the World, uh, Windows on the World Complete Course in Wine. This is a really good book, but it's I wouldn't really recommend it for beginners. Uh, this is pretty entailed. As a matter of fact, when I started this, I found it to be really entailed. So what I did when I studied French wines, I found it to be a little, uh, pretty much a little intense. So I bought this book, French Wines for Dummies. By the way, they also have a book called Wine for Dummies. It's a great place to start. Uh, even though it's, I like the dummy series uh, on wine and other subjects. This is a great book. Uh, French Wines for Dummies are just wines for dummies just to get you started. Uh, if you really are in the beginning stages and you want to learn a little bit about wine and you want to make an investment in learning about wine, for an amateur or a professional, I recommend this book right here. It's called The Wine Bible by Karen McNeil. This is a great reference, even if you're just a weekend entertainer and just want to know a little bit more about wine or you want to go into a Italian or French restaurant and you kind of want to work your way around the wine list. This is a really good book. It talks about all of the regions, for instance, the regions of France, some of the regions of Italy, talks about the weather, the climate, uh, their motivation behind the wine, uh, a lot of, talks a little bit about the food that is typical of the area. So it's a really nice, easy read from a, an amateur's point, and it's also a really good reference from a professional's point, too. This is a really good book. This is one of the books I studied when I took my SOM test. So probably the number one book that I would recommend is uh, the Wine Bible, real easy to read. Uh, wines for Dummies, French Wines for Dummies. Once again, I do know Italian wines pretty well. Uh, so Italian Wines for Dummies, that's a great place to start as well. So we have those. The Dummy Series are great starts. If you do want to go serious and even go to uh, get a Psalm to, through WSET or uh, our Quartermasters, uh, Kevin Zerali's Windows on the World is a really nice study. I did have some study material that was given to me through um, Quartermasters as well. So that um, that's good. Uh, as far as Italian wines goes, I also recommend, if you want to become an expert on Italian wines, I really recommend Vino Italiano. This is this covers the entire Italian spectrum. Uh, everything from uh, Orvieto all the way down to Nero Diavola, Chianti, Bar Barbaresco, Barbola, Barola, rather. This covers all of them. This is a really good book as well, Vino Italiano. There's a lot of other fun books like uh, Wine Folly. That's a really good book for Beginners talks about how to taste and how to test and what to look for when you're buying a wine. Uh, let's see, what else do I have? I have a wine testing, uh, uh, it's called Wine, a Tasting Course. It's every class in a glass. This is kind of a fun, easy book to read. Kind of uh, doesn't take itself too seriously. Gives you a little bit about the background of wine, etc. So these are some really good books to get started. If you do want to get started, learn more, Dummy Series, and once again, The Wine Bible. I recommend Thanks for watching.